hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 5 to the power of n minus 3 to the power of n is equals to 544 and now i can solve this problem for the values of n so uh, here i can use the method of reverse engineering and this is the unique method and hope so you cannot uh, see about this method so uh, the very first thing uh, we are going to do is in this method uh, is here i can just take a is equals to 5 and b is equals to 3 so when you can put a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3 then this equation will become in the form of a to the power of n minus b to the power of n is equals to 544 and I can named this as equation number one and after this step uh, if we will take the square on uh, this equation then it will becomes a square is equals to 25 and when we take the square of b then it is equals to b square is equals to 9 and now we will add these two equations and uh, you can easily see here we have a square plus b square is equals to 25 plus 9 and 25 plus 9 will be equals to 34 and similarly when we add when we subtract a square and b square then you will get a square minus b square is equal to 25 minus 9 and 25 minus 9 is equals to 16 so this is the value of a square minus b square and now in the next step i can uh, i can find the prime factors of 544 uh, so you can see here the prime factors of 544 are find in this method and here we first divide it by 2 and you see that 2 2 is a 4 and here we carry 1 and 2 7 is a 14 and 2 2 is a 4 after that we again divide it by 2 so you get 2 1 is a 2 and 2 3 is a 6 and we carry 1 and 2 6 is a 12 and now we again divide it by 2 and you get 2 6 is a 12 and carry 1 and 2 uh, 8 is a 16 we again divide it by 2 and you get 2 3 is a 6 and 2 4 is a 18. So again divide it by 2 and you get 2 1 is a 2 and 2 7 is a 14 and finally we divide it by 17 and you get 17 1 is a 17. And now we can write this 544 as 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2 two times of 17 and now you can uh, multiply these four factors and you get 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 and 8 to the 16 and multiplied by when you multiply these two factors then you get 2 7 the 34 and now uh, we can move towards our equation number one uh, or this equation so now I can put uh, the value of 544 is equal to 16 times 34 in equation number 1. So that our equation number 1 will become in this form. Here you can just write uh, equation number 1 becomes. So our equation number 1 is a to the power of n minus b to the power of n is equals to 544 and we can write this 544 as 16 times of 34 so it will become 16 times of 34 and now you will see here we have a square minus b square is equal to 16 and a square plus b square is equal to 34 i can named this as equation number two and this as equation number 3 I can just put uh, uh, equation number 2 and equation number 3 in this equation or I can just write it here use equation uh, equation number 2 
and 3. So uh, when you can use equation 2 and 3 here then you can just put the values of 16 and 34 here. So you get a to the power of n minus b to the power of n uh, is equals to 16 and 16 is equals to a square minus b square into 34 and 34 is equals to a square plus b square and now we can just multiply these two factors and here you see that we have a square multiply a square is equals to a4 and when we multiply this by this you get a square into b square minus b square multiply a square you get a square b square and this is minus b to the power of 4 and here you see that these two terms are cancelled by each other and here we obtain just a to the power of n minus b to the power of n is equals to a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4 and now you can compare both of the sides here and uh, uh, you can just see that uh, we have a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of 4 and b to the power of n is equals to b to the power of 4 and now you can focus on both of the sides and here we can just apply the nice exponential law and first I can write this law if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n so this implies that m is equals to n so now we can use here this nice exponential law so that according to this law we can just equate the exponents of both of the terms and in both of the terms you will get the same value which is n is equals to 4 so here you can uh, we say that n is equals to 4 be the only one solution of the given equation so now we can check this solution is this solution satisfies the given question or not so the given question statement is 5 to the power of n minus 3 to the power of n is equals to 544 and now we can first put here n is equals to 4 then you will get 5 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 544 and you can see here 5 to the power of 4 is equals to 625 and 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 81 and this whole equation is equals to 544 and now we can just subtract these two values and 625 minus 81 is equals to 544 is equals to 544 so this shows that n is equals to 4 satisfies the given question and uh, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos